It looks like Brendan's got a deal in place with Barstool Sports. And let's, let's read it out properly, the caption. So Brendan Shaw posted this on Twitter recently. He posted as follows. It's time. Barstool Sports and Thick Boy Studio is official. December 9th, Rough and Rowdy and Calabasas Fight Companion with a stat crew featuring Theo Vaughn, Mad Flay, which is Joey Diaz, and Rampage for Real, which is who? Who's that? Rampage Jackson, I'm assuming, right? Is that Rampage Jackson? Yeah, it's Rampage Jackson and me. Tune in live on Thick Boy YouTube, Rough and Rowdy, 19 on pay per view at buyrnn.com. So, clearly, clearly, there's a deal in place there for him to do the live fight companion with Rough and Rowdy at uh, the Barstool thing, which is basically anyone that wants to have a fight with somebody they have a disagreement with, just amateur people sign up and fight. I'm not sure how it works in terms of pay, whatever it may be, but the fights are pretty entertaining. I've seen some clips here and there. I've never bought a pay-per-view, to be honest, to watch the full card, but the clips I've seen, it looks like a really fun show, the kind of thing that I'd love to see live. I bet it'd be super fun to see that live. And they've got some cool entertainment as well on the side. The commentary is always really cool, and it looks pretty impressive overall. So he's got a deal in place for that. So I think this is the big thing that Brendan was kind of teasing on the front of the kid. Oh, I've got this big deal coming up, or this big deal, and this is clearly the one. What I want to know, what happened to that one fighting or one championship thing he was meant to announce? He was meant to be the official digital partner or something for one championship, and that completely disappeared. I wonder what happened there. But anyway, regardless, this is the promo clip of this new Rough and Rowdy thing. Let's watch it and see what's the deal. Welcome to Rough and Rowdy. Special announcement coming in hot. Added to Rough and Rowdy 19, December 9th. I put together one hell of a crew for the Calabas Fight to Pain Show. We will be watching it live with the boys. We're talking Theo Vaughn, Joey Diaz, Rampage Jackson, myself. so you get the deal you get the you get the gist of what's happening there i'm oh yay you got a super chat it's good it's gonna play the audio let's see if it plays the audio shout out from wyoming in america big up wyoming big up danger derek i appreciate you i really do thank you for the super chat my friend of one dollar 99 i appreciate you brother you know what? I'm going to be very controversial and say this, whatever. I say this. I say this. I actually think Rough and Rowdy is a much better fit for Brendan than doing UFC fight companions, than breaking down UFC fight cards and all that jazz. I legitimately do think so. Because I think he has no real passion or interest for that sport in general. Just does it because it's easy and it makes money. But he puts no effort into his analysis, no efforts into his breakdowns, no real thought goes into his predictions. Um, no real thought goes into his hot takes. He just flies off the seat of his pants, says the most crappiest, messiest, you know, weirdest things that ends up getting him in trouble and he ends up looking like an absolute idiot. And I don't think it's necessary. You know what I mean? If you if you don't need to look like an idiot, you don't have to look like an idiot, especially somebody who was a former UFC flipping professional. Uh, you don't need to embarrass yourself cons on a consistent basis like he does. So especially now as well, to be honest, I feel like UFC media is better than ever in terms of random podcasts where you can listen to somebody really knowledgeable or somebody incredibly, incredibly, as the phrase goes, balls deep in UFC or MMA, who can legitimately break down cards on one championship, on PFL, all these type of other organizations and really give you an overview as to what's actually going on. None of this kind of surface level nonsense because even myself, I have an interest in the UFC. I watch most of the cards, but I wouldn't ever dare to try and flip in give informed takes or opinions and try and come across like I'm, I'm, I'm an expert because clearly you hear from the sound of my voice and the things that I say that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but Brendan does do that quite often so I think this rough and rowdy thing as lame as it is in a way because if you're somebody of his caliber you really should it really is maybe is a sign of your kind of star falling right it kind of is maybe a sign that you're not the guy that you once was you know to get dropped from showtime um, or let, sacked or he left whatever story you believe and now you turned up doing rough and rowdy it's a little bit crap right? i mean a little bit shows that you're not really at the level that you once was so maybe it's a bad thing but in general like i said i think this is a far better fit 
for him than doing UFC fight companions, in my opinion. I think it's a far better fit. And the lineup is always pretty decent. Having it with Theo Vaughn, um, Joe Diaz and Rampage Jackson is going to be quite fun. But the way you make it fun, in my opinion, is if he actually does it like a host. If he just sits back and lets those guys shine, these three guys shine, Rampage Jackson, Joey Diaz and Theo Vaughn, it's going to be fun. But if he tries to be the funny guy also and, you know, throw some quips in there, it's going to get really awkward really quickly.